lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to create interactive lessons. And so this is gonna be a math lesson. And today's lesson, we are going to say lesson number one. And it, when we learn OneNote, we can go ahead and just start typing on the page. Um, we're gonna talk about one-step equations. And so this title right here, can we can change its font, go to the home ribbon, where we can bold it, increase its size. We can stretch out this bar so it's all on one page. We could change the font however you like it to be. But the main thing that we are going to do is create this to be interactive. And so what I want to leave this OneNote page and go on to a PowerPoint slide. And so what our objective is to create a problem and then also have the kids use a um, like a word bank of some sort of a math bank um, with the answers in which they're going to have to solve the problems and then slide in interactively what the answer will be. So how I'm going to make this tab right here is I'm going to go to my shapes tab, go ahead and create a shape, my shape line that up. If you notice, these dotted lines help you line everything up. I'm going to copy and paste it. And then I am going to dot or dash the outline. And then now I have where my question is going to be and then where the students will slide in the answer. I went ahead and made one for you already. So I am just going to cut and paste and drag everything down. I'm going to do that again. And then I am creating, I'll create eight problems, eight total problems. And each of them, I can um, go onto the problem and find um, change the equation. So to find this equation, just I'm going to insert my insert tab and click on symbols and click on equation where it will pop up and then I can just type in my equation. So right now I'm gonna say, okay, let's do 26 equals eight plus X. The next one, and what I did is I just went off of like a CUDA software or some type of worksheet that I'm turning it into an interactive page. My next one is going to be three plus x equals eight. Next, I will have x plus nine equals 15. We can go 15 plus x equals 23. And I can stretch it out. If it doesn't, I can adjust. That'll be great. And then next I will have a negative, let's try a negative 15 plus X equals 13, or excuse me, let's do a negative nine. Once again, I can adjust. Put that in there. And then I'm gonna say X plus three equals what? Let's see. Eight and then four plus, oops, four plus X equals 17. Let's keep it at 17. We can go from there. So now that we have all of our equations that we are going to create, and so I am going to use the snipping tool. And so the snipping tool is right here at the bottom where I am going to click on the snipping tool. If you don't know how to get to the snipping tool, you can go to the search menu, type in snipping tool right up here at the top, and it's gonna pop up. So we're gonna do a new snip, and I am just going to snip right around my equation. This is my copy, and then I just go right into my and paste it right into my OneNote. So I'm going to do that for every single problem and from place to place again. So here we go. 
I could snip this whole this whole thing right here. Copy. Go to my OneNote. And then I'm going to paste it in. So you might say, well, how can I get this to be interactive? Well, I'm going to insert, and I can insert equations as well in my, um, my OneNote. So I'm going to type right here, and all I'm going to say is x equals 18. And that would be, I'm going to get my, I want to get my size and my font size all in the way, the size that I want, because all the kids have to do is drag that answer right there. So let's see, what are, what are my answers? Um, you have to make sure, let's see, first one is... 12. So I'm going to just copy and paste. My next one is going to be 18. My next one is going to be 5. And I'm just hitting the control C and the control V button. Right now I'm hitting control V. That tells me the answer is 6. And then I have 13. And then I have five again, oops, edit and do up here, click off of it and go X equals five. So I'm going to have two fives. Okay. Negative 15 plus six is going to be two, six. You probably um, want to make sure that all the answers are going to be different. Um, and then you can make sure. So here we go. So we have all of these that the students are just going to click and drag into these boxes. And I can also, which one is six right here, 13. This is just making sure that I have all of my answer choices. I can put in extra answer choices if I so choose to do so. And then here we go. So here is like my answer key. So I'm going to start putting in directions. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my home tab, or I can just go ahead and click in. It says solve each of the following equations. I can separate my title in color by color scheme. I can make that just a little bit bigger so it kind of stands out. I then can come down here and say answer choices. So once again, I'm going to enlarge my, um, my answer choices. Put this at the bottom. I might go ahead and make this a different color as well. So I'm going to click all of my answer choices, bring them all down here. I can mix them up a little bit. So the students will have to go search for those answer choices. We got to make sure that they're all mixed up. So now you have an interactive piece. I might want to also tell the students, hey, so I can, let me go ahead and shrink this a little bit, adds a little bit more room. In previous videos, we've showed you how to set the picture as a background. So now this, this doesn't move at all. The students can't move anything around. They can have a, um, it stays very solid for them. And I wanna say show, work. I could have the students show their work off to the side. This will allow them or me to see some evidence of their work. And so it looks like it's off the page, but this page will slide over for them. They will have it right there. I could also use the snipping tool to like finalize everything and make it nice and solid. And you can see what I'm doing here is I'm taking, so they can't change any of the words. 
I'm going to, this is a little trick that I kind of discovered. And then I am going to move this where I want them to show the work and then set the picture as a background. And so right here is where they are going to show all of their work for each of the problems to show how they came up with their final answer. Now, to add some color, you can change the color of the answer choices and change them to red. You can change different color choices. We can bold it however it may be so it could be as interactive as possible. This answer choice, instead of every time the student's highlighting over it, I can go ahead and use my snipping tool again. It pops up. The snipping tool has been my most favorite thing <laughs> with OneNote. Um, because I could just be creative. It makes it, um, let's see if I put it right there. So I'm going to delete what I just wrote. Now I'm going to right click on it, set picture as background. And now this will not move. Nothing will move. I could do the same right here as well if I so choose to do it. But now you have an interactive lesson. And then you can distribute. We have a video on how to distribute the lesson to your students. So please check out how to distribute a page um, to your student. But this is how you create some sort of interactive lesson. This is only one, but you could just use your creativity and make it where the students will enjoy.